Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the video. Today we are doing something I have never done before and that is cooking on a pellet grill. Let's go! So if you know me, I've never cooked on a pellet grill before. I've always been a Weber Smoky Mound guy or offset stick burner guy. Have never cooked on a pellet grill. Z Grills reached out to me, asked me to check out their pellet grill, the 7002C2E with Wi-Fi. And I said, yeah, let me see what this is all about. About. That being said, I've never cooked on one before, so I don't know how these things go. So I'm gonna do something pretty easy to start. I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We're gonna trim these up, season them up, and get them on the pellet grill and see how it turns out. And please, if I do anything that's against the rules with pellet grills, let me know because I don't know anything about these grills right now. I'm trying to learn though. So if I'm putting the meat on the wrong way or starting it up the wrong way, please let me know. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take these chicken thighs, again, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We're just gonna trim some of this fat off of here, nice and easy. Get these cleaned up, nobody's gonna to wanna to eat that, and it's really not gonna render. Close enough. Again, we're not doing competition or anything, we're just getting these for us at home. Now I like chicken thighs. You got a lot of that good fat in there. That's gonna give you a lot of flavor and it'll stay juicy throughout the cooking process. Any of these sides that are gonna kind of burn off, get them out of there. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and we'll be back when it's time to season these up. Chicken thighs are trimmed up exactly how I like them. So let's get this seasoned up. Today we're going to be using Luton Booty Barbecue Gold Star Chicken Rub. Let's get this fired up. Great flavor from this rub. Mm, that's going to be good. Nice seasoning. We're going to do both sides here. Do the other side. kind of folding these under each other so we could get a nice uniform cook. If you laid it out flat, it's gonna cook really fast. Some will be done sooner than others. So we're gonna to try to get these balled up just so they cook a little bit more evenly. Seasoning's all done. Let's go get that Z grill fired up. We're gonna start by loading up the hopper with pellets. Today we're using the Z grill cherry pellets. Let's go with those loaded up. After we got those loaded up, Put some aluminum foil down on the heat deflector. That's gonna help for cleanup later in the day. So let's get this grill fired up. Right now it's set for 275, and that's where we're gonna keep it at. We're gonna let the grill come up to temp and we'll be back when it's time to throw the chicken thighs on. Let's go. Grills up to temp, we're rocking 275 degrees. Let's go get these chicken thighs on. Now again, we've got the foil down here. It runs this way. There is a grease outlet down here. Just trying to keep the grill a little cleaner. That's it, thighs are on. 275. We're gonna come back in about a half hour and start temping those thighs, see where they are, see how fast this is gonna take to cook. Again, never done this before, so we're learning here. Is it gonna cook quick, slow? I don't know. We'll be back in a little bit when it's time to start checking internal temperatures. It's roughly an hour in. Let's go temp these chicken thighs, see where they're at. We're temping in the 140s. Now's the perfect time to throw a little sauce on there. We quickly put together about a 50-50 mix of Meat Mitch's Wom Sauce and Big Wick's Jalapeno Pepper Jelly Glaze. This combination is amazing, especially on chicken, especially on anything smoked. This is a great combo. So let's go sauce these up real quick. Got this great sauce here.
grill's closed down. We're gonna let these run out here. 165 is typically a target goal for chicken, but thighs and wings and chicken legs even, they could go up to high 180s, 190s, and wings I even take up to 200. So with these, they're boneless, skinless thighs. I'm probably gonna be somewhere in that 165 to 175 range. So we're gonna let these roll. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing about another half hour before we take them off. Let's go. Chicken thighs are done, looking beautiful. Now it's time to cut into them and see what that pellet grill did. We took these to about 170 and let them rest for a few minutes. So here we go. Perfectly cooked, nice and juicy. Time to take a bite. Wow, this did a great job has a really good smoke flavor, not overpowering, but it's there. Cooked perfectly. That rub and the sauce we made up, this is a really, really great bite of chicken. Wow. All in all, I'd say this first cook is a major success. Again, it was something easy. It was chicken thighs. Let me know if I did anything stupid on the grill. We're gonna start moving up to big things. I'm gonna be doing a brisket soon and trying some ribs and other things on here. First impression, this Z Grill's knocked it out of the park. Really, really enjoy the flavor of this. It cooked well. It took roughly two hours or so to cook these thighs, which is about normal. Other than that, I, I, it's really good. Again, I never cooked on one of these before, so slowly changing my mind maybe. We're gonna do some more cooks. Again, briskets, ribs, pork butts, just to see if we could get that bark, get that good smoke penetration. Give me any tips you guys have on cooking on a pellet grill. I appreciate it. If you like what we did here, follow me on social media. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. And we'll be talking to you all soon. Take care, everybody. Peace.